And good evening, everyone. We begin tonight with a terrifying episode on the way to school. State police are trying to find out who fired a gunshot that sent a bullet drilling through a school bus. That bullet barely missed the driver and came close to a busload of children from the Randolph School District, where News 4 investigative reporter Luke Moretti picks up the story. This is where it happened, Route 241 in Conowango, Cattaraugus County. Nobody was hurt, and which is good. Nobody was hurt, but a close call for Randolph Central School students and the driver. Our driver heard a noise similar to possibly a firecracker or possibly uh, signifying some engine trouble. State police say they've recovered what appears to be a rifle round projectile that entered just above the side doorway. They say it traveled through the passenger compartment before lodging in the metal roof behind the driver. The driver heard a noise and then pulled the bus over to a safe area to inspect what had happened. The driver stopped to investigate it. Uh, we sent a substitute bus out to transfer the students over to it. The driver immediately checked to make sure all the students were safe, which they were. The bus was picking up Randolph Central School students. About 35 were on the bus at the time of the incident, from kindergarten through 12th grade. The driver's fine, all the kids are fine, and uh, they're doing well. They're all in school right now. Peter James was shocked to hear what happened. I think it's. It's crazy. His children attend Randolph Central Schools and ride the bus. Yeah, some of my neighbors and stuff hunt back in here, and then it's state land the other side of the Conowango Creek. Yeah. But a 30 out 6 bullet will travel pretty far, I imagine, but that is yeah. straight bullet or not, they should know where their trajectory is. Now, the state police and Department of Environmental Conservation officers are running a parallel investigation. At this point, it's being classified as a hunting-related incident. Again, no injuries to the driver and students, but certainly a close call. Luke Moretti, News 4.